hello friends welcome to my channel this is part 2 of repository pattern in first part we have created three different projects one is core project which contains the database entities and it contains the interface and we created another project called infrastructure where the interface has been implemented here to communicate with our database and third project we created for our user interface that is our web project in this we have the controllers as well as the views for testing purpose we have implemented the crowd operations with the entity framework now we are going to remove all these entities and we are going to call our interface to perform the crowd operations so this is our interface which we implemented we are going to consume inside our controller to perform the crowd operations before continuing with this session i would request you all please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for notification alerts now we have to remove these entities because we are going to call our interface first we have to initialize our interface here for that i am creating one private read only and here i have to call our product repository to access this repository we have to use the namespace of infrastructure and here i am going to create one variable of db now here i am going to create one constructor for the product repository now instead of our db entities here i am going to use our repository db dot get all products this is the method which we have inside our repository to get all the products so i am calling this method here we have to get the product details based on product id so which we have in the repository pattern method called get product by id where we have to pass the product id to get the details here we will call that method db dot get product by id here it is throwing the error because in our repository pattern we are expecting integer where it is not nullable here we are passing the nullable id so here also we are making as nullable so that we can fix this error here also we don't want find here so this error has been fixed so before continuing with this video please watch first part of repository pattern so that it will be easy to understand where we have explained all these steps how to create multiple projects inside repository pattern first part video link is available in the description as well as in the top i cards then we are going to call create method to save the product here db dot create where it expects the product model that is our tbl product master so here we no need of save changes because that is implemented inside the our repository patterns so this is the create method where we are calling the save functionality also so then we have to get the product details for edit same like how we called for the details here also we are going to find db dot get product by id so based on this product id we are going to get the product details so this is the method we are calling based on the product id we are going to get the product details then we have to call update method for that db dot update is the method where it expects product 
that is TBL product we are going to pause and this is used for update the product and also we have to use save changes after updating the entity state as modified to save the changes we have to call this save changes function and then finally we have to get the details for delete method so here also we can use the same function which we used for detail and edit get product by id so here we have to pause id to get the product details finally we have to call the delete function to delete the product and save the changes before that we have to get the product id based on id we will get the product and once we get the details we have to call our delete method which expects the product that is tbl product here we are going to pass only product id so here we can pass product master dot product id is enough for us to delete because the product id is the primary based on the primary key value we are going to remove the product so we have implemented all the options so we no need of this dispose here now build the application here we have one error get product by id where we have not implemented because here earlier it was expecting integer where we changed as nullable so we have to change our interface also accordingly so here also we have to change it now build again so there is no error here we removed all our entities and we replaced with the interface of repository pattern where this repository contains all the function to perform the crowd operations like create delete and to get all the products so get products by id and finally update so we created all the functions in part one and now we implemented inside our product controller run the application now so we have to call our action method to access product click on create new here we can create product now create so our product has been created here we can try to update the product details save so our product is updated here also we can try to delete any product click on delete it will ask for confirmation so that product has been deleted so like this we can use the repository pattern to perform crowd operations in ASP.NET MVC and also we can use the same pattern for our .NET Core also. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.